What's up guys, it's Mark here. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, today I've got a video for you that's something a little bit different to what I've been doing before uh, because today I'm gonna be working on some custom lettering for a fellow graphic designer and YouTuber, Charlie Pangus. Charlie lives all the way in California, all the way on the other side of the world. And at the moment, as you can see on his YouTube channel, he's got uh, his logo there with a the font and he's contacted me and asked if he can have something that's a bit more unique and customized. So I'm gonna be doing some hand lettering for him. And I thought since I'm gonna draw it, why not record it and, and make it a YouTube video? So throughout this video, I'm gonna let you guys watch me do some sketches and stuff like that. I'm gonna send them off to Charlie, get some feedback and then refine the ones that he likes the most and basically just take you through the process so you guys can watch it all. If you haven't heard of Charlie, he's got a ton of really good graphic design tutorials on his channel as well. I'll put links in the description so be sure to check him out. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions about the process or anything you see, as always, just ask away in the comments, guys. Alrighty guys, so at this point I've just come up with a handful of different concepts, all pretty much based around the same idea, just with a few different ligatures and some slightly different stylistic elements there added to them. What I'm going to do now is just take a quick photo or a screenshot, send it off to Charlie, get some feedback before I go ahead and refine some of these ideas, just so I can see where he's at. Alrighty guys, so I've just heard back from Charlie and his favorites at the moment are number one and number four. So I'm gonna go ahead and just scrap these other ones. I'm gonna grab number one and number four, and I'm gonna redraw these ones properly now and start really refining them and getting them looking nice and crisp, ready to be on a YouTube channel. Alrighty, so at the moment I've got like the base sort of foundation for these two concepts is now down, which I'm pretty happy with. It definitely needs some tweaking and stuff. So what I'm gonna do now is basically just go through and start doing the sort of 
nitpicky stuff where I just try and iron out any little bumps and creases and stuff like that and just make sure everything's nicely balanced and, and looking the way that it should. So now that I've done some tweaking and stuff like that, I'm going to grab these options here and I'm going to take them across to Adobe Illustrator now. I'm going to image trace them and then do some more sort of fine tweaking and working on some angles and stuff like that. Uh, I spoke to Charlie and he was a fan of this one, this concept with the underlines. I've put it at two different angles and in case you're wondering, the top and bottom are different because of just the little corners. I've basically just softened them to give it a bit of an ink bleed sort of effect. So yeah, time to go across to Illustrator now and wrap this thing up. Alrighty, so there you have it guys, this is the finished logo. I hope you guys found this video helpful. And uh, if you have any questions about anything that you saw, maybe you want me to talk about any particular process or anything that you saw in part of the time lapse, by all means, as always, ask away in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks guys.